So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I know I don't post videos on a regular basis. My channel's reach is also decreasing. So please share this video and watch it till the end. So today, in this video, I will tell you the best NVIDIA control panel setting. And also show you some hidden tricks for your NVIDIA GPU. So let's start the video. First create a restore point. If something goes wrong, we can revert the changes. Simply go to the search icon and type. Create a restore point. Now select C drive. Now go to configure. Make sure system protection is turned on. Now hit apply and then OK. Now click on create. Name it whatever you wish. Now click on create. It will take a few minutes. Now we have to update the NVIDIA drivers. Open GeForce Experience. I will provide the link in the description. Now click on drivers and check for the update and update them if they are available. You can also select your driver preference. Game Ready drivers will provide the best gaming experience. And Studio drivers will provide the best experience for creative apps. Next, update your Windows. Open Settings. Windows Update. Check for new updates and install them if they are available. This may improve the overall performance of your system and fix bugs. Now let's come to the main part. Open NVIDIA Control Panel. You can open it by right-clicking on the desktop. Or you can search for NVIDIA Control Panel. If you don't have the Control Panel, you can download it from the Microsoft Store. Now open it. First go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. Then choose Use Advanced 3D Settings. Now go to Manage 3D Settings. Now watch carefully. Just copy these settings. If you have a low-end PC, simply turn it on and set the sharpen around 40%. This will boost your FPS, but the image quality will be a little sharp. Now come to ambient occlusion and set this to performance. A nice atropic filtering should be application controlled. However, if you want the best frame rate, turn it off. Anti-aliasing FXAA should be off. Anti-aliasing gamma correction should be on. Anti-aliasing mode should be application controlled, but if you have a low-end device, simply turn it off. Background application max frame should be off. CUDA GPU. All. DSR factors should be turned off. Low latency, mode on. Keep these as defaults. Open GLGDI compatibility. Set this to prefer performance. In Open GL rendering GPU. Select your GPU. In Power Management Mode, prefer maximum performance. You will get the best results if you do this. But you may face some high temperatures. You can also restore it to its original state. Preferred refresh rate should be high available. Now here copy the same. Off. Allow. In Texture Filtering Quality, set this to high performance if you have a low-end PC to get the best frame rate. Set this to high quality for high-end users. Vertical sync should be off. Now hit apply to save the settings. Your screen may turn black for a few seconds. But don't worry, everything is fine. If you are facing any problem, you can restore the settings to default. Now come to configure surround. In the Fizz X settings, select your GPU. Now hit apply to save the settings. Now in display section. Go to Adjust Desktop Color Settings and raise the value of Digital Vibrance. Now you will see your PC's color more saturated. Now hit Apply to save the settings. If you have this G-Sync, make sure to enable it. Now we are done with all the steps. If you are having problems, you can go back to the default settings. Now restart your PC. You can check out the channel. I've already made so many videos for low-end PCs. So, guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. Please share this video with your friends. This will make me more motivated to make more videos. And also comment down some video topics. If you are facing some problems, just contact me on Discord or Instagram. See you in the next video. Bye.